everybody, my name is Ty, and this is Total Disclosure. All right, uh, we decided to do the show tonight, um, sporadically. Well, it's going to be tomorrow, but Dusty um, um, threw out the idea for tonight, and he hasn't been on the show in a while, so I was like, let's do this. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. But we're going to decide, you know, we, we didn't get a chance to talk about that, um, uh, that sphere, spherical UFO that uh, was debuted on the first episode of Weaponize, which is a new podcast from Corbell and, uh, you know, famous uh, journalist George uh, George Knapp. So I brought in the two best uh, people that I could think of, uh, and that is Tom and Dusty. Um, and we're going to do a call-in show. So not only, you know, we'll start the day off by, by talking about this newly released, you know, um, uh, spy plane... Version, you know, a uh, 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 view of a of a UFO, which I love these military sightings because they're so credible. Of course, looking forward to talking about that because I do have a lot to say. I examined that photo pretty pretty extensively. And what did you, you know? Uh, I guess before we get started, how are you guys? Excellent. Yeah. Doing good. Doing good. Yeah. I mean, Dusty, you haven't been here in a while. Um, uh, you've since moved to New York. Uh, since I mean, you it was before the holidays since the last time you were here. So, oh wow, it's been that long. Fuck. Yeah, it was before the holiday. It was the last time you were here. That so, is true. Um, Sounds fine, yeah, bro. a lot uh, for for at least for you, a lot's happened in a very short amount of time. Um, and, and I mean, the UAP reports come out. Uh, uh, you know, little pieces of the things have have dropped. Uh, and, and the narration keeps to, you know, keeps moving forward. Uh, and this is, you know, Corbell thing is just the latest domino to seem, seemingly, seemingly fall. Uh, I also just got back from uh, uh, L.A. and Catalina. So, yeah, you know, how was that, boss? It was uh, quite crazy? a... Yeah, well, I'm saving it for the movie. <laughs> so, uh, no one no one gets to know anything. Uh, well, the people who work on the movie do. So Tom will get to see it before anyone. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, anyway, so the, you know, are you guys fans of uh, Corbell uh, and George Knapp specifically? I, I, let's start with 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 Corbell. Now, Corbell is also you know obviously famous for uh, kind of reviving the Bob Lazar story. Um, it was his second film. Uh, and it was called Area 51, Bob Lazar and Flying Saucers or something like that. Uh, yep, that's it. That was it, right? It was um, Bob Lazar, Area 51 and Flying yeah. Saucers. Was, it, I believe that's the order, yeah. Right. So, um, and, and it was, you know, heralded as as, as a, a pretty good film. Um, and, you know, bringing back that Bob Lazar topic that, you know, had its, uh, you know, real prime um, back in the, the late 80s, early 90s. Now, obviously, the man at the front of that side of it was George Knapp. So it was almost like George Knapp was taking Corbell under his wing and kind of passing the baton to, to Corbell. But they've, you know, there's this period of time, right, like right now, where they're still working together. Um, right. But I, 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 my inkling is that after Knapp retires and, and kind of, you know, fades into the sunset or, you know, into his twilight years you know, Corbell will t kind of take that role on. I think that's probably fair. Uh, I've been a fan of George Knapp for many, many, many years. I learned of the Bob Lazar story, I, I believe around the time I was four or five years old, like I said, which is odd, but that's how I got introduced to both of them. Um, my introduction to Jeremy Corbell initially was through his other film, Patient 17. Yeah, so that was his film. I enjoyed that. Oh, yeah. and, and I like, I like, his stylistic sensibilities. Look, I I think there's a lot of people out there that that don't like him because they think he has like a big ego. Uh, but I you know, it's like if you really look at what if you look at the things that he's he's done the only complaint that anyone could really make and and I could even address that particular complaint to be fair cuz I kind of felt that way at first is when he says Oh, big stuff coming, big stuff coming, and then you wait and wait and wait, and then there's a drop, and then everyone's like, "Oh." We are. We have to remember that there's a chain of custody when it comes to evidence that's provided to a journalist or a filmmaker, and that if they have a great source, 
if that source says, hey, listen, you're dropping this photo in a month, and then four months later, you're going to drop the next photo, and then four months later, you're going to drop the video, that's it. That's the game plan, and if he doesn't follow that, he's going to lose his source. So the way I look at it as an optimist is that Corbell goes about things the way that he does He's clearly because he trusted. doesn't want to lose his sources. Yeah, I, I, listen, as a human being, I think Corbell's heart is in the right place. I get some people are turned off by, I don't know, like the way he dresses or whatever. Like, whatever. They call they him th- like, they they call him like an alpha male, like hipster, you know, like say, wannabe well, you know, the guy dress The guy dresses the way he dresses. He has, you know, I got a fucking beard. You know what I mean? It's like, look, I don't, look, I, Sam, I don't think Sam he's a bad literally guy at all. said it. He's an he's annoying on Rogan, dude. A lot of people don't like him because of I don't know if you remember, but the 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 episode where Bob went on Rogan, yeah, Corbell, Corbell was like, with him. Corbell like spoke over Bob a lot, yeah, or, yeah. and 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 people that's like really when it began because it, yeah. if it was solely based on his film, I think people would have a much better opinion of him but it's because of that one episode well, of rogan kind of sounded like he wanted like he was inserting himself into his, the like, story into i think he was excited man well, you know what i mean he's Bob, like i can't though, believe you know i'm mean? here yeah he's he's in a i think he was a little hyped yeah he's in a room with joe rogan and bob yeah. lazar right yeah. and he's the main reason that they're together right. uh so i could see i could i could definitely see like him being overexcited i just think i think corbell d- I, I agree with some of the people when, when they talk about his ego and like he kind of he is kind of like a gatekeeper but you know what he's earned the fucking right he's, I think he's clearly forced trustworthy he's you know, forced to be by his sources he doesn't want to lose those sources so he steps very carefully and cautiously and if they give him directions he probably follows them to a T he probably tries to reason with them like if I had somebody give me evidence the first thing I'm going to ask is well when can I release it you know, yeah. but I don't. I, I, but he's able to. I hold don't have any issues back. with Corbell. I think Cor- history, when disclosure drops, history will look back on Corbell as a guy that did help push it forward. And George Knapp, I, I got no, you know, I, 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 there's people who say negative things about Corbell, which, uh, uh, but then they also say negative things about Knapp. It blows my mind to say negative things about George Knapp. George Knapp is a reporter. He's seeking answers, just like the rest of us are. And he hangs his fucking hat on oh, that. Bizarre. Yeah. He hangs his hat on this entire subject. Yeah. You know, he has a reputation to maintain. So in the lead, like there's people out there who think that he's just, you know, playing the game and that he's grifting. And I'm sorry, man. I, I, that's not, that's not how I see George Knapp. I, th- I think he's a credible source. I think he's got connections. I think he's, partially in the know brought on by people that he's made connections with. And again, another guy that I think his heart's in the right place. And I admire him as a journalist. I do. I'm a yeah. huge fan of George Knapp. I love the guy. I think he's got a good speaking voice for podcasts. Like, yeah, I think he's the man. I do. I, I'm a huge George Knapp fan. I know some people don't like him, but I do. I really do. So here, so here's the photo. Now, now this is, um, so this is a screenshot of, a four second long uh, video. Now they obviously have not released the video or we'd be playing it. But as you can clearly see, uh, this is from some form of uh, reconnaissance, you know, vehicle, right? There's a spy plane, uh, I believe. Yeah, just by the targeting system and, and the and the 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 pod. The the you can, it's, it's and very, where is this? This is over in Iraq, uh, uh, a city in Iraq, Mosul. Oh, yeah. So obviously in the bottom right hand corner, you can see what is a perfect circle, circular, circular sphere. It at least it appears to be spherical. Now people have made the argument that this is a reflection of a puddle. Um, you know, it's for a fraction of light. It's a drone. Mm. All right. All of that aside, this picture and I, <laughs> That why I love this so much is because again it reinforces my point that we are fucking spoiled. That doesn't even impress us. This well, dude, this barely makes everyone like this, looks at that. They think it's fake. No, 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 no. 
I'm, I'm, some I'm, do. I'm not, I'm not talking. Well, maybe some do. Yeah. yeah I'm not. Yeah, I'm not do. even talking about it in that regard, Dusty. I'm talking about it in the sense that we have so much fucking good evidence right now these days that this coming out it barely blips the fucking radar. Right. right? It's, it's not that. It's that everyone's flooded with every every other piece of fucking news out there, man. It's well, hard for shit like that to get through because what? big fucking this... like. New no, it was. I mean, it trended. Like that. It's fringe. Oh no! I mean, it 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 did it did uh light up it the social up. media airwaves no, for it, sure. It, it and lit up. Debate. But what I what I what I'm specifically meaning is this did like again, if this came out in 2014, this picture drops in the way that it dropped. They did they they did it on the on the show. Um um ah. Oh, Actually, wouldn't even I know what sense. you're. I know what you're saying. No, you know it, what I mean. This would be breaking at different news times in history. This in would be UFO like the, this would be the top story, like on of Earth. the year. Of it would the be the top story, year. right? Exactly. So this would have been in every UFO documentary to fucking be made in the next three right. years. Half and and you're right. We're spoiled at this We're point. We're super spoiled. Well, Ty, and let me all... ask you. Uh, what are your Initial impressions. I've analyzed the image myself, like analyzed, so I analyzed. Well. So I, 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 I looked at it. I, I, I brought it into Adobe. Uh, yep. I can't find signs of tampering, but at, 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 at this level, um, I think that, you know, it, if, if, if it fooled Corbell and if this is fake and it mm. got through Corbell's checklist, it's not going to, you know, it, it'll pass mine too. So, uh, the only thing that I think will really, really change the game on this is obviously the four second video coming out. Right, and I've been I've been preaching about that. I tagged Nap and and Corbell and said, you know, because obviously one of them follows me. Um, I said, hey, I like what what you guys put out here, but you know, let's push for that footage. Let's try to get that footage and... out there because that will put this argument and debate to rest. Now, yeah. when you listen to the episode one of Weaponized, yeah. they kind of drop this in the last 10 minutes and barely go into it. Like, they really don't talk too much about it in the, right. in terms of, of like, you know, I, I got, it's weird to say, but they barely spent any time on it. It, it, it was kind of like dropped at the end and then followed up afterwards and and maybe that was on purpose you know to kind of maybe they're trying to like do it like a tv show where they hook you to into the come in into the next episode which is a good idea um but do you think that this deserves follow-up and do you think that you like uh the the way that they they put this out deserves follow-up yes do i like the way that they put it out no they put it on a podcast that that is fucking ninety well, percent like audio. I, I like that. So I like, but here's the thing. They it, put it, it out in a way. Google, they put it out in such a way that people are going that like certain. There are certain people that are going to be bothered by it, and they're like, "Oh, dude, you know, they're just holding this evidence that's you know debatable at best, so they can just have content." Like people are going to make that argument, like. Listen, is that true? I have no idea. I, I don't think so. I think, again, that there, there's a process being followed. They're following it to a T. But there okay. are going to be people that look at that and say, dude, you're just keeping all this stuff in your back pocket, and, and you could have released it, but you're not because you want to try to capitalize off of having it. I don't right. agree with that particular stance, per se. I do. Dude, what do you mean? But it's a fair argument to be made, dude, that's technically, because I don't right know what's what actually mean? true. What do you from think? For the from their standpoint, dude, that's a product, you know. Like, if so, they make some money off it, why not, bro? I, I, I mean, mean, and I get that. I, 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 like, we all have to eat, but at the same time, if somebody sends me footage and says you can drop it, I'm dropping it literally right now, like right then, right then and there, I'm <laughs> dropping it. Well, well, maybe like, well, I'm gonna go well, into editing a video about it. They already, they already said that they had to remove information. So if you can see on the screen, mm -hmm. there's all these little pink or, or yes. red or red numbers and letters. Um, these mean different things. Any uh, uh, military personnel will be familiar with with uh, with what's going on here. 
but there are things that are removed from this picture right to in order for them to be able to drop it so you got to think they would also have to do that for the video now they might not have clearance from whoever gave this them this evidence to drop that video so Yo, where's the but it was implied so what i was getting to but you know b- before was they kind of dropped this in the end of the episode but it was it almost felt implied that he had seen or they had both seen the video and 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 then dropped this screenshot of it now am i wrong in saying that or did they not see the video because they don't say so specifically and i haven't listened to the second episode yet based on all of the information that i saw if i recall correctly corbell seemed to have a very high level of confidence surrounding the video so i do believe he has seen <laughs> The video associated with it and if he's seen it nap has seen it right because i mean i don't think he would have dro- and now this the reason i want i want to bring that part up is because i don't think they would have dropped this screenshot if they weren't one thousand percent sure that it was a real video and it actually came from the military and it wasn't backed up by at least a witness testimony, uh, or, you know, someone's witness, uh, eyewitness testimony. Right, right. Um, at least I hope. But, you know, will we find out who gave us the Mosul UFO video? Like, will that be revealed uh, on an episode of Weaponized? I, I'm really, really, you know, I'm interested in the show. I'm not a huge fan of Corbell. I'm like I'm not his big, biggest fan, but I also do like him. I like him. I think I just, his heart's I'm, in the right place. I do. I have no issue with the guy. And I think <laughs> this is a genuine craft. I, I really do. I think this is a genuine craft. I think this is a. Uh, uh, it's definitely. It looks more like you. Know, this is our reconnaissance vehicle capturing this. Yeah. I think that's their reconnaissance vehicle, whoever they are. Because I don't I think so. I would agree with that. Like, I would agree with that. Well, I, yeah. I mean, it, if if it's could so small, puddle, you could though? assume it. No, it, I, and I'll tell you why it's not a puddle. If you look at the sidewalk there, there's some discoloring on the sidewalk <laughs> uh, to yeah. the I was going to ask, is that the shadow, you think? Look at the color. Di- look, like, first of all, look at the color differential, right? There's a sh- right. just a, a, a stark difference. There's a metallic. If that was, it, right. If, there was, if this was a puddle, you would you would have more of that gray that's around it as the pavement probably present because water is, is transparent. And the other thing, the other argument I've heard is that some people are saying, Oh, like I believe Mick West had said that he thought that this was uh, a drop of water on the lens. The issue with that, in my opinion, is that again, this lacks any kind of visible transparency. This looks as though it, it you notice how it has a blur? Too. There's a so there's a, like a blur to it that that <laughs> would indicate speed. Yes, so, that, this, so there's always was some sort of trailing. Motion. Right. So is it going the opposite direction? You think or well, no? Apparently, it was following alongside and then zipped off. That's what I heard. Really? Yes. Wait, that that's where did you hear that? Uh, On the show, I don't remember that. I don't know if it was in a tweet. I think Corbell <laughs> had said that. At some point, I do believe that so it, it was so following it, alongside so, but the it spy did, plane. Because my next thing was going to be, could this be adversary adversarial technology? No. At this point, I don't. I don't think it is. Um, I don't think we have the means, or 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 at least our adversaries do not have the means to make a. Uh, sphere like that. No, be able to. Not. No, it's not an aerodynamic object. Yeah, because circles aren't aren't they don't fly, if, right? If so someone other than us drone, has that, like a country, right, right. we're in trouble. Well, I don't know. Like a, a helicopter is not really aerodynamic either. Yeah, but it has propellers. But it has propellers, and it, it also has it has the tail. Well, if you're talking it about it a different operates, sort of propulsion, this thing doesn't aerodynamic have. Doesn't really matter. Where's the fucking wings mm-hmm. on this thing? Where you're where's, right. Where's the heat signature? No, but I he mean, makes a good point. The, what did he Aero, say? I'm sorry. He makes a good point. It's like, well, you know, if this is using another means of lift, then aerodynamics wouldn't matter. You're right. Oh yeah, but that's in our favor. Of, but that points in the direction of this 
being not run being by technology that we well, if you believe don't have. in Bob Lazar, then you know that we already kind of have that technology back in Geneva. I guess you know. I guess no, but uh, if you know, you know that wrong, story, though. no, right? But if you know that story, think about who dropped. They don't. They haven't figured this shit out. They bring it out of yeah, of wherever okay. it is every if few you can years run it, and work dude, on you it. You can probably event that was oh, what fifty years ago. They were just running it. Probably I don't know. So well, here's the funny. thing: the Roswell craft was apparently in a ton of pieces, but the stuff that Lazar saw was more intact. He said they had like every sort of craft. They had like fucking twenty they of them. Eight, no, like, no, they, they had, they no, had nine. All right, whatever. I believe there was nine. <laughs> no, but you make a good point. You make a good point. He, here's he here's does, the problem. But not the, the power I, I source break needed it down. to run it. We don't. It doesn't exist on this planet. Which, if this element 115 bit is to be believed, craft, we have yet to synthesize. Right, but that's the problem, is that we have yet to synthesize a stable variety of 115. Of There's an 115. island of sta stability that you have to reach. How do you know how long it takes to burn up that fuel? Maybe that fuel takes yeah, I, that's the wrong the thing. time, you know? Like, it, it might could. be, like, really, really efficient. That you're abs you're absolutely right. There's but so many questions. if you have like, that kernel of it, you'll have to figure out how to years. start it. You have to you have to think about everything that you have to know to operate a like just like a fighter jet. And now take that idea and I'm gonna hand you a craft and all the directions are in Mongolian. And they're upside down and you're blind in one eye. Like you know what I mean? Like that's like, like what we're 50, dealing with here. Years and a hundred different people working on it, like yeah, probably Oh, you make a really good point there though. But it's so compartmentalized that the scientists that are working on it don't get to talk to each other. Yeah, but someone's overlooking it. Someone's putting the puzzle pieces together. They oh, that's all they're doing, though. They're, they're overlooking it, but they're not figuring it out. I don't think they have figured out much. I don't. I think. I, really, uh, I, I think. I, I, I think you're giving. I think you're giving humans way too much I don't credit. Know, dude, I don't know. I think. I, a, I, not I personally think fair that we have. Stand. No, Dude, like, well, look at Kate. We've already, Kate. We've, we've all discussed Can you guys not hear like, me or something? Oh, no, I can hear you. I got all right, you. Then, don't, the talking over, uh, I, I can't, I try to formulate. Yeah, go ahead. I want to hear what, what you, uh, yeah. I got look at like the Cash <laughs> Landrum case right. where they took a, a, what is, would look like a, a UFO, right? A diamond shaped craft. And the story goes that they retrofitted it with a nuclear uh, propulsion system, right? So uh, this case went on to get into a superior court. And obviously the, the, the helicopters, the Apache helicopters that were escorting this craft were not ever identified as a military aircraft. So no loss, you know, no uh, uh, verdict was awarded in any of the... Uh, uh, victims families or or victims uh but if we're be to believe us like that ha you know that story happened as they tell it um th you know that that's kind of marks where we were then right so if we're still mm -hmm. retrofitting things with nuclear propulsion you know back then how far have we gotten now there is a good point to be made on both sides however there's too many question marks to even speculate about it i think a oh. retrofitting theory is Probably the most likely candidate is yeah, that if they get any of this stuff up in the air. I don't know, clearly, we've, we've clearly you taken have a leaps very and bounds. Complex understanding of the like the workings of it. Like you can't just slap a fucking engine on something and think it's gonna work. Like no, yeah. not at all. Uh, the retrofitting like, probably took time there. to figure out. Yeah, hence, hence things like the Cash Landrum fucking case where they burn the shit out of these people. Right, yes. they yes. they didn't get it right. <laughs> they got it very wrong, actually. Uh, they fucking flew that thing right over a goddamn uh, a populated uh, uh, highway. And, and 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 if you know, it, it, again, you have to believe the story to to you know, kind of go along with that theory. But it's so and, weird and, that it's true. Yeah, you know. in my opinion, I I find it to be a credible. Uh, uh, one I believe of the, it. To be. Yeah, to one of these credible cases. Um, but another thing, we took leaps and bounds. There's no doubt about that. Humans went from zero to a hundred when it came to the integrated circuit. So was that partly from retrieve retrieved craft? Highly plausible. That that most of our technological look how quick it happened. 
I mean, there is a good case to say that shit's come out of these programs. And what would make the most sense? Oh, oh, it came from a reverse engineered alien crap. That yeah. makes fucking sense. I believe right? that. But do. have we just scratched the surface? Right? There's so much more to go. And in the you know, that's what I mean. They're probably trick letting it trickle out like that, you know? Like yeah, but I, th- I think if they had the a lot more than we think. Trickle out. We is, talked about this yep. with Steven actually. I yes. think if they were hiding anti gra anti gravitic machine uh capabilities, I think that would be a, a crime against humanity. I right. I he, didn't, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't he didn't think, think, so. think so. But his argument his argument was very sound. It's just that it's a double edged sword, man. It, yeah, you know what I mean. It's like you're trading, you're you're doing it <laughs> for the you, you know for, for the greater society good society as we knew it. But you're doing it for the greater good. But the thing wrong? that you're hiding is for the greater good. It's like it's almost like a no win situation. Sadly, it's it's not really. If, if, well, if society you look at the logical point, like dude, look if at you the way we to, react. If you to introduce this type a new form of energy, you would have to restructure our entire economic system. Yes, absolutely. That's a up. very good point. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and the, that and would the, cause the mass hysteria. Fucking... That would fuck people sideways. Yeah, in the you know, oil industry. Yeah, it, industry, you dude. know, I don't. You know what? I, honestly, I don't think. I think, think about how many things are run on petroleum, dude. Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, I think. I think, but I think ninety percent of the population would at least be willing to allow for some because it's not going to happen overnight, right? There would be some sort of limbo phase where mm-hmm. we transition. And it, it might take, way. and it, hey, shit, it might take ten years, right? But I Likely. think the 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 population, for the most part, if it were to change the the world as we know it, right, would be willing to invest that time. But the but the problem is, if they're hiding it, you're you're not allowing that decision to be made by the people who put you in your job to do just that. Mm, so you right. see the crime. That's, yeah. what, that's, that's what happens when you get can power, be argued. Bro. Yep, it can be right. argued. And and just because what ten percent of people who own stock in oil would be mad? Well, guess what? We didn't fucking care about the libraries when we invented the internet, did we? No, I don't. I don't sense. hear a single goddamn person crying well, about the tape, libraries. What you mean? Right? That was, so, you're talking about a small change, like dude, like. Libraries to fucking internet. No, That's the internet nothing. was a revolution. What do you sure. mean? The internet no, was a small sure. thing. Sure, it was a big jump, what? but it didn't disrupt things. It made things easier. You're talking about taking out the staple the of the internet fucking did disrupt economics. things. So I, the, I the think about how many things have exist. It was an ana- it was, Dusty. It's an analogy. It wasn't a compare. It wasn't a. a, a I don't know, but it, it's, I don't know, but I, I don't like the analogy because you're talking about something that's. It changed the world. The it, internet changed the world. It enhanced a lot of businesses. It enhanced it a lot of industries. The world. If you take what? out the energy industry, you're not enhancing anything. You're making things yeah. fucked up. That's why a limbo period would have to be. There's no other way around it. And and I think they the people that are in charge of that and who line their pockets with the thinking that you have would be thrilled with your answer now. They'd be like, yes, he's so right. Uh-huh. Cause they don't want change to ever happen. Right. No. Okay, Cause, because everything has to be right now in order for it to, right. To make money, to, to, it has to be instant. And, I mean, you're and, not like, you're talking about like that a collapse from? real quick. You're not talking about like a easy, gentle, like shift. Like you introduce Growth is never any easy. sort of new energy source like that, that makes fucking every other thing else obsolete. When you spring, that's, that's six not feet a gentle tall, thing. That's like pushing a fucking baby in a, like the ocean. When you grew to six feet tall, you had to go through some growing pains, brother. You know it. That's that. It no, is what I it didn't is. fucking feel it because it was gradually your shithead. Oh my god! <laughs> you you clearly the the analogies don't work for you, huh? <laughs> you, you, Here's the thing. Just... Let me put it. Let me let me here. This will make it easy, right? So like. A lot of countries are going through a transition <laughs> phase where they're trying to transition to, you know, zero emissions or, you know, we're trying to reduce uh, carbon emissions, carbon footprint, all that. So there is a transition period happening where, like, instead of, like, you know, 
uh, running all these factories, say, off of uh, the power of petroleum, uh, you, you, you're you trying to transition to solar or wind or anything like that. There are new jobs that get created, and because there are jobs that no longer exist as a result, mm-hmm. there's a period those people have to be trained. <laughs> those jobs have to open up. Those jobs have to be created to begin with before any of that can happen. So there is definitely a period, and there has to be a period. Otherwise, you're going to end up having something happen like what happened when Biden first got into office and there was that massive layoff of oil industry workers, which was huge. By the way, I want to bring this up. Um, Disclosure file says electromagnetics seem to be a signature of these objects. I, that's so, I think that's going to start to be something that we do find to be uh, happening with a lot of these uh, cases. Electromagnetic, some sort, some form of distortion of the electromagnetic field, uh, seems to be associated uh, a lot of the time. Many. Well, I was gonna ask yeah. that, dude. Why is there no distortion around the edge of it? Like, like if you're looking at a picture, like why is there no like kind of wave thing around the edge? That's. I, I don't know if I don't maybe know if it would be is. visible. Maybe yeah, there is. If, it, well, if you look at it, take a like, like, close look at the image. Set up like it. it Get uh, back up for a second, Ty. I want to point something out. Remember the gimbal video. The the, yeah. the 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 infrared one where you can see like the aura around the yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes 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 maybe you know because our eyes our eyes can see only a a, a real small uh fraction of the uh, uh the scale the visibility uh spectrum well yeah so camera picks may, up yeah glass. maybe infrared picks it up but cameras don't and our eyes don't and you know it's all it's it all has to do with 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 that spectrum uh or I'm fucking way off. I have no idea, but I, I just know that in the in the gimbal video, you can kind of see like some aura around it. But here, daylight, broad fucking daylight, it just looks kind of fuzzy. But I, I I think that more attributes to motion blur. Yeah, but there does seem to be like if you look off to the kind of like the upper left hand portion of it, and then the right side, unless that's something going on on the ground behind it. Wait, there's, it's almost it like, like a, a black, grassy area. There's a the black, is... shadowy sort of. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, I, see it. I see. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I see it. And it kind of like, like, and it looks. It metallic. actually ha- It looks like it looks like you can see it on both sides, and it kind of makes it look like wings. Yeah. Right now, another thing to take into consideration too is the fact that okay, well, I can tell you guys this. There was a a, a brilliant Reddit post. Uh, we can get the. There were some people who were like, "Well, how do we even know this was a Mosul?" They geolocated it and they showed uh, Google Earth images. That is indeed a neighborhood in Mosul, Iraq. That has been proven with a hundred percent with no shadow, uh, with a shadow of a doubt, right? Right. That's it. Like totally proven. Now let's think yeah, about light for a second. Now look at that. Look at the um. Look at that uh, satellite dish on top of the building in the left hand portion of. Yeah, there's a couple the of image, them. right? So. One thing that we could possibly use to really determine the actual location of this object is to digitally, in a digital situation, create a light source over to the right. And if somebody could, like, render this, potentially, Uh, that light was there, would you see the light reflecting off this object where that light patch is if it was up close to this pipeline? Because it could be one of those situations where it's in the right spot, but it would also be in the right spot if it was ground level. But I'm telling, man, listen, that's the other thing too. I guarantee, but I that's guarantee, a puddle, why is it so round? Right. Also, why is it round? Like like that. Size there too, if you wanted to. That I satellite guarantee. Is like it's kind of like the same circular thing. It's almost scaled up. What would you say? Double from that satellite dish. Uh, yeah, I know. What the you're satellite saying. dish is probably what like saying. what another like yeah. hundred feet on the ground. Well, that's maybe? what I was gonna say. So I, I guarantee the part of the information that's been taken out of this picture is one the is altitude. the altitude of yeah. the plane. Yes, and it's probably way up. Yeah, way, way up. It's because it's, it's a spy plane, right? So yes, it, it's got to be way up there, and they don't want they don't want anybody to know where that fucking thing is. So they're not gonna tell us how high up it was, yep. and they're not gonna tell us. I, I mean, I couldn't find the rate of zoom, how far it was zoomed in. I would imagine it's in, probably insane. Yeah, this is, you got to figure that this plane was 
at least at least above cloud level at least and and i want to know that's why i really want the video because i want to see it come into frame or was it was it something that they saw coming uh did you know did it just enter the frame exit the frame i think from what i heard so if anyone does footage it's it's you're looking at the ground and the thing comes up and then it's there for like you know three seconds and then it zips off so it's like the spy plane is doing what it's doing this thing comes up it's in the camera's face leaves Oh god! From what I understand, so Listen, that would be would put dope this entire conversation footage. to bed, right? <laughs> like, think about it. We wouldn't even have to have this entire conversation. We would be talking about what is that? Where did it come from? How is it flying? Honestly, that's the next step. If they could that, release the footage of that, it's gold. It's that fucking four gold. Four seconds of video. If, if if described the way you just said, that four seconds of video would put the gimbal to to shape. I agree. Because, I agree because with that. Because this is a broad daylight, fucking in color. clear as day. Yes. You know, the only thing better than that, you know, is where the occupants, right? Like, I want, you know, uh, well, I think this me, is an unoccupied. Show me a video object. with an occupant, and that, then yeah, we're talking, of course. right? Now let's get but, that twenty-three minute video that Lou's yeah, been talking about for a right. hot minute. So again, <laughs> if this four seconds of video ends up out there, I think this is, and. It shows, you know, some fucking instantaneous acceleration. I think we're talking a whole new, uh, uh, a whole new world. There's I think photos that, of I, these objects from World War II. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, it's, it's like, come on, man. We've been seeing this for decades, yeah. and you were right. The, the, the Romans. Drones. The Romans. What did they talk about? Flaming shields in, that flew through the sky. Yes. Um, right. So it's it's progressed. Uh, every culture seems to have some sort of flying sphere that is incorporated. Just flying something. Flying, they use, yeah. they use words to describe it that they, like, they, they only had so many words that they could use at the time <laughs> to describe it. So it's like, oh, this is um, shiny metal bird. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> I made a post. I don't know if you saw this, Ty, on, on uh, Twitter. But I shared a post because I found a really interesting Reddit thread. Uh, it was from Reddit user Cannondale3. Shout out to him. Uncontacted. I don't know how to pronounce this, so I'm just going to pronounce it however. The uncontacted Tehoche people immediately assumed that seafaring Europeans came from the sky. This is another example See, of back in can history. Can you that one more again? One more time? Yeah, so it says, why would seemingly uncontacted Telhuche people immediately assume that seafaring Europeans came from the sky? Attributes of modern abduction accounts seen in spiritual beliefs of the Telhuche people, Puerto San Julian, Argentina, in 1520. Oh, my Lord. And if you read through it... (laughs) It has all the characteristics. Do you want me to read it? No, I don't. Okay, <laughs> I'll send it to you. It's it's very interesting, but again, no, no, I don't. Europeans show up. They meet these indigenous people, and the indigenous people are looking at them, and they're like getting on their knees and pointing to the sky, like, "Oh, these are the gods." Like, right. why would they point to the sky? Right. That's it's, like, it's, a, dude, it's a very very. Why do we ignore these things? Because, I get it. Ancient uh, aliens has you. gotten a lot right. Is Graham, all I'm say. Graham Graham Hancock says it the best, man. We're a species of amnesia. We, uh, I, yes, 100%. We're just alien monkeys, dude. The other guy that was on Joe Rogan's show that um, believes Carlson? in the young... Yes, Carlson. I couldn't think of his name. Thank you. Carlson yeah, Carlson's dope. S- said that... He said he, There was a really good quote from him the other day that um, when you look at certain distinct points in ancient history, it's not that you're looking at the emergence of civilization, but you're looking at the rebooting of civilization. I thought that was a great quote. Great quote. Yeah. Fascinating. Wanna... I, I really adhere to this now. The evidence is overwhelming to me at this oh, point. Oh, yeah. I definitely. Yeah, they've presented a very, 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 very solid case. And uh... I don't know. I don't know if it means aliens per se. It just means that yeah, there dude, was a civilization maybe... on this planet that was advanced that got wiped out by dude, something. Yeah, maybe humans are just like, a, like millions of years old. And like, maybe like we just fucking like legit got wiped 
and then some of us were in space, and some of us fucking started new colonies. I, th- I think that's very, very, very possible. I do. Like, I really that's do. Like, if you believe we go that far back and we're that advanced, fucking maybe. Atlantis. Good example. Yeah. Dude, it's an amazing like, subject to look into. I think, um, I think, uh, uh, this is a, I just read this art. Of 2016. Uh, uh, um, right here. It should be, it should not be and. Right. It should be as it should be a. a. And it, yeah, it's, it's killing it, me already. It, it, it's, it's confusing me right now. I'm already, I'm already done uh, with it, whatever site this is. Yeah. Uh, so we do got a uh, call coming in. I wonder if I can present this. Yeah. See, yeah this yeah. is going to be the challenge. Is, Look it is up. allowing? Yeah, I know. I'm, I am. Do it now, Ty. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> it, it, it's be better, the caller better. to voicemail. Oh, you suck. Well, whoever that was, um, do call back. Do call, call back in. We'll try to wait. Hi, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna present. Out, I'll present the 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 Google Voice um screen. Yeah. That way you can see that. Because I don't know what the hell just happened. But anyway, you're bad at your job. That's what just happened. What I've never I swear to God, before. if this call is trying to sell us insurance, Ty, shut it down. It could be <laughs> Lake Street Commons Lodging. It sounds like a, a hotel. Anyway, so I mean, the the overall consensus uh, for for you guys is: is this genuine UFO or not? I, I mean, it, it really does come down to that. What you what do you guys think? Uh, I I just want a yes or no. I don't really want to uh, drawn out. Yes. I, I, I want to move on. But no. uh, yes. So Tom says yes. Dusty, you say no. No. Not a genuine UFO. Not enough to tell. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna follow that up with. Uh, I think it is a uh, yes, but I think it is. Uh, I think I think it's a rec- like a a a, dr- a drone, an unmanned. Yeah. Uh, uh, act, you know, UFO. So for sure, uh, it's it's almost like um needs more information. Yes. Yeah. Leaning. I don't see how I don't see how, I don't see how anything gets though. in there. I don't know how big it is though either. So no, I mean, of course, it's, it's, really it's, it's a reconnaissance. You know, I mean, we have unmanned vehicles. Theirs are just better. <laughs> Way, Way better. better. Way better. I can do ninety degree turns. So All I. Types of stuff. After this, you know, I I. Corbell, we we talked about Corbell. We talked about his his attitude, his ego. Um, someone who puts Jeremy or makes Jeremy look like a saint um, is a man by the name of Stephen Greenstreet. Ah, uh, here we go. Right now, Stephen Greenstreet is a quote unquote journalist uh, for the New York Post, uh, and he really just kind of does. YouTube videos, I guess, right? Is that? I mean, he, does he write articles as well? I believe he does. Uh, I I would never read uh, his writing no, uh, but, at this point, I just, or I wouldn't seek him out. But no, he is. It it's all right. It's becoming apparent that he is targeting the UFO community at this point. So popular people amongst the UFO community, he either likes to. Uh, uh, dig on them, uh, retweet their stuff, and try to like give reason. Like he's like the ultimate troll, skeptist slash, like uh, uh, disbelief agent. Um, <laughs> but you, so something agent. apparently happened, right? That kind of that kind of uh, pissed you off a little bit because when I was driving home, I saw that text from you that you were like, "Oh, Green Street," and I'm yeah, like, "Yeah, oh, he's boy. going after Tom DeLong." So much really. As- yeah, he's, now he's going after Tom DeLong. After he just went after Travis Taylor, and before that he went after uh, Lou Elizondo, and mm-hmm. before that, you know, it, it's just it's gone on and on and on and on. With this, this is guy. this is his niche, right? It, so he, like, we we have an audience that we bring in because we like to have open minded discussions about these topics. He is the same exact thing in reverse. He goes in like Mick West. <laughs> With the debunking mindset, right? Instead of going in with the mindset to grab the facts, no matter where they lead you, even if it leads you to something you don't like, right? Neutral. He goes in and his immediate mindset is, how can I debunk this? You're never, if it's a real UFO, you're never going to get to that point when you have that mindset. You're not going to get there because you're never going to believe that it actually is, even if it is one. 
And that's that's a bad it's, it's not good. Like again, I'm not gonna sit here and call the guy names or anything like that. I but I will say, I will say, this is like the harshest thing that I'll say. I believe that his mindset is wasting his own talents. I think he's a I I, I believe that he could do a lot of good. I think he, you know, he's 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 not an idiot, right? But I think this is this isn't the path to take. It's just not. It's not he's not gonna get the answers that he may want internally going about it this way. And I think it's a shame. I do. I think it's a waste of talent. Well, this time he, I, so I don't, I wasn't, I didn't actually get to see what Tom DeLong posted. Yeah, I haven't um, seen it. But, no, Tom deleted it. So now oh. all it is, <laughs> is a, so, so Tom deleted whatever tweet it was, which doesn't look good on Tom's side of things, but you know, maybe he just Steve, piss him off. I don't know. Yeah. Steven's response was, you know, Stephen retweeted the original, whatever Tom tweeted and said, this person is the re- is one of the reasons the U.S. government is currently spending taxpayer money on UFOs. Now, I think this is, cl- I mean, what is this except not just a, a dig? It is. The- First off, the U.S. government has been spending taxpayer money on UFOs fucking since Roswell. They Black just, budget money? Yeah. They, oh, they just started probably, probably talking the about it. May, they, hey, yeah, hi. The only <laughs> thing is they're talking about it. Right before 9-11, Donald Rumsfeld came on TV on September 10th, 2001 and said that the Pentagon could not account or track $2.1 trillion in spending. Then the next day, well, the Twin Towers were hit. So not even just that. Let's take let's take aliens out of the equation for just a second. Let's just talk about <laughs> UAP, Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon which would encompass anything in the sky that we're observing that's in American airspace that we have no understanding of. That's a waste of taxpayer money to protect our fucking air? Really? The skies above America are not worth taxpayer dollars to protect or at least be aware of the fact that there are objects entering that airspace with impunity daily? I'm sorry, man, but that's fucking ignorant. That's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen him... Now I'm pissed. It's stupid. It's irresponsible. So one of the comments that actually made me even more furious was this kid, Predatory Panic, N- not him, but he-, he comments and says, you know, not a DeLong fan, but good, to be honest. Government should absolutely be spending money on this topic. And Green Street replies to him and said, there should be a separation of church and state. Now, obviously, he's saying that UFOs are the church, right? So... You know, we're basically saying it's not real, right? We're a cult, it's a, it, right? We're just a cult. It, it, yeah, it's a, it's, it, it, it's more like you, you know, a belief system. We're all wearing um, fucking white hoods and dancing around fucking trees in the yeah. middle of the forest, worshiping so, the, the saucers. That's what we're doing, guys. <laughs> so basically, Green Street just called the UFO community a church and said that that you know there should be a, a separation, meaning the, that we, you know, the government can't, shouldn't step in and uh, should never. Uh, apparently step in uh when it comes to uh ufos if and if there if there's any validity to it so uh again uh green street just abs but but then you know he selects and chooses who he'll reply to because huh? anything that he can you know literally just say any evidence of what you said is true question mark if he can't say that then he's not going to answer because i went through almost entirely all of these comments, any comment that had any factual information in, he didn't respond to. Like if it had, if it had dates and, 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 and budget amounts, he wouldn't respond to it. But if it was like a generalized, like they should be spending money. That's when he would, you know, chime in. It's just, just like guys fucking... in the UFO community who, to be fair, I've seen this happen. They'll, they'll share like a piece of footage. Somebody presents them with a very, very solid, if not obvious, theory as to like how it's not a UFO and it's been debunked, and they ignore that. But they'll go down to the next comment that says, you know, oh, the, you know, the Galactic Federation, blah blah blah, and the person, you know, preach, man. Like it happens on both sides of the equation. Like this is why I make an effort personally to answer almost every damn tweet that comes my way, whether it's in agreement with my stance or not. Because I want to have that open debate. I want to have that conversation with people because that's how we're going to get answers. Like, I don't, you know, I, I don't know what the answers are. 
But again, this this is not a good way to go about this, man. You know, it's like disappointing to see somebody who I, I believe to be intelligent doing this, but it's irresponsible to say that we shouldn't be spending money on this because it, it doesn't just encompass the mysterious. It also encompasses the actual Chinese drones that apparently have been buzzing around our airspace and, and, and possibly even Russian. Like, so what are we supposed to do? Just fucking ignore that? I mean, come yeah. on, Green Street. You got to be better than that. Like, <laughs> at least clarify that. Yeah, you know, at least he's... clarify that in the least. Then I'll be like, okay, all right, you clarified. Yeah, but the if, do nothing. If you're, if you're including that entire work. thing, I'm sorry, but that's fucking absolutely irresponsible. Yeah. And I'm especially, like, so annoyed by that. Especially when people like Robert Salas and Mario Woods. And, oh yeah, and they're all, all these and shit, all right? these people are saying, hey, dude. Uh, saw UFO and it uh tampered with our nuclear arsenal. They're all liars, though, Ty. Like this is matter. about to be another one of those Tom Thompson rants where the vape yeah. goes down. They're it, all it liars, dude. Yeah, all but it doesn't. Them. It doesn't matter. Even if they are all liars, we need to fucking investigate why all these motherfuckers are lying or hallucinating UFO incidents when they guard our fucking most deadly and world ending weapons because that's a problem if they're <laughs> hallucinating on the job uh so either way we have an issue it so, still warrants investigation yes it still warrants tax here, here like here let's stuff. take aliens out of it again right because apparently that's bothering people at green street you have a situation where an object is seen of unknown origin regardless of its fucking origin and then you're telling me that not only in the united states were nukes put into a go no go but over in russia just like uh just like stephen bassett told us in our conversation with him over in russia they turned them on yeah people forget that one like let's so at least soviet... investigate why that happened yeah so when the soviet union fell that 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 case <clears throat> came out and uh, i believe that was one of the reasons george knapp went over there um when yes his, george Knapp brought back some actual like interesting photographs yeah. and footage that i've seen george um, is one of the first people, american journalists yes. into russia isn't that wild post post collapse of soviet he was like Union. one of the first like five i think yeah so uh you know Incredible. just it, it, it's it's Makes really wonder, cool right but so that came out but you know what's funny is i was also talking about this with another person today ironically because we're talking about astronauts because at the same time that case came out, they also found that the Russians on uh, on Russia on r the birthday of Russia, they they couldn't just have cake, so they had to send someone into space uh, early, right? Because they 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 wanted to show how fucking you know their space program was going back then. Yeah, high and mighty. So they wanted to send up uh, send someone up. What yeah. what they didn't know is the engineers and people were too afraid to tell management that this craft was not ready to go. Like it would not make it back into wow. our atmosphere. That's so right. because of the fear of telling the higher ups, you can't <laughs> do this because they would just kill them. So, so basically <laughs> so that the, basically the scientist is saying to themselves, I tell them that this thing is not going to make it. They shoot and kill me, and they send him anyway, and he still dies. So is it worth my life? I guarantee anyone in that situation <laughs> does the fucking stays quiet. Yeah. Right? Yuri, I need you to stand yeah. in for me. Not a single person would speak up, <laughs> oh, and that's sad. That's so, beat. It's so silly. They, they sent someone up, and there's recording. I know what of, you're talking about. Of the craft. I know Once it starts to spin out of control yeah. upon reentry, there's apparently a lot of dead ash astronauts yeah. from the Russian space program that and have you been can, kept on the hush hush. Yeah, you can hear the guy screaming for because his his, your, his craft goes into an uncontrollable spin yeah, upon reentry, and once you go into that spin, yeah, lights know. out. It's lights out. So you hear him scream, and then it just hits. You know, you know. Next thing it's you terrifying. really hear is. Dude, they had no remorse for human life at all, right? Like, it makes me sad that they sent a fucking chimpanzee into space. 
Yeah, and a dog. Right? That made me sad. Like, I get it, but I mean, I don't, I don't personally then like we're, that. You know, to bring what it onto a, a human. Spud, no, Spud or something like that, wasn't it? Or no. I think that's the movie, man. <laughs> no, you're talking. Yeah. You're thinking of Sputnik. Air Jordan. Sputnik. Yeah. Sputnik is the satellite. Yeah, it was the first Stop, satellite. Right. No, the Russians. The <laughs> Russian space dog. I th- it was Laika. It was Laika. 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 It was like L A I K A, I believe. <laughs> Somebody can double check that. I mean, you know, whatever. But I believe it was Laika. Interesting. But uh, yeah, so even when I, you know, when I learned that, I was like, God damn it, why? And then like, you know, to do it to a human is just a whole nother level. It, any it's life, any it's... life is precious. But like, yeah, you know, I, I could, at the end of the day, ugh, it's so bad to say. I understand the animal part. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I guess, you know, like. I would have to. We have to, because we in order for advancement. Yeah. You, you, no one's gonna. You know, unless someone volunteered, that would be that would be totally different. If someone volunteered, and they were like, "Listen, I'm willing to die, to for for this." To mm-hmm. that would be a whole different thing. But uh, the uh, sending someone up there without them knowing like them thinking they have a chance to get home, so not saying bye to anybody. Kind of maybe bad. I bet they did, but. You know, they thought they were gonna come. They thought there was a chance that they were coming home. Dude, that's better than knowing, because yeah. they're, they're going up anyways. Well, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I I don't know. Because if I was him, dude, say, dude, say they told them. No, told he, the was, he was. He like, was. Yo, uh, it's Betty. Well, it's fucking going up. <laughs> so, well, an <laughs> astronaut. Been... Yeah, the, an astronaut was gonna go up no matter what. Yeah. It was. It was gonna be who. Uh, and that's, I guess, the the because they were gonna force someone to go, so one astronaut. So even if one guy Forged. was like, like found out about it and was like, no, no, I'm not fucking going. Fuck you. Like mm-hmm. they probably just kill him, or they would just you know black label him, blacklist him, and move on to the next, and and yeah. you know tell the same lie. Like governments are so fucking shady, especially the Russian government. Uh, and especially, especially the Soviet. You know, back when they were the Soviet Union, because. Yeah, you know, we just have to keep in mind, too, because I feel like this kind of happens a lot with this particular subject. It's not the entire government. It's not every person in government. Some people kind of lose sight of that. There are. It's compartmentalized, right? Like there are factions in the government that are that are really shady. And then there are people in government who really are trying to work for our best interest. It's yeah. it's it's it's, you know, a, a tug of war like has this been going one. on for years. This, this this is actually like uh this was something I was thinking about the other week uh about how there are actually in fact Congress people probably probably loads of people amongst government in every facet of it that think UFOs are fucking demons or or yeah, like the Collins elite is a good example. yeah like like you know like kind of like the I call it the Varg- from in my own mind when I describe it I call it the Virginia syndrome. Right, thinking it's okay, automatically, yeah, automatically assuming it's a demon. Right, um, that it 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 kind of scares me that there are still people that would um, see a craft or 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 like see evidence that we haven't seen, like of a of a craft that can do unthinkable things, and just automatically assume it's a demon. And like fucking bury your head in the sand because you don't want to go toe to toe with Lucifer. So like, what? Yeah, I know what you're that doesn't saying. even make sense. Easy way to go. What? I know what you're oh, saying. saying. They have their beliefs, man. They're raised. You know, it's it's hard to break that programming. Yeah. It's very yeah. difficult. I know. It just sounds so ludicrous to me. <laughs> no, that... I get it. But you also have to keep in mind too that some of them are like, listen. I don't know what that is. Not saying because whether demon. Or, yeah, I don't know what it is, and I don't want to touch it. Whether or not it's a fucking demon or not, it's it's posing a uh, uh, safety of flight issue, right? Like, it, it, oh, of course, a, a, a demon, a demon, a UFO, an angel, a rock. Fuck it's, it's still it could still tear a fucking commercial airliner in half uh, within a split right. second. So, regardless, we should probably check out if it is Lucifer. And if it is, we're fucked anyway. 
<laughs> so who cares? Well, if, if Lucifer's you flying afraid around, drying up. So <laughs> what? The Euphrates River's drying up. So yeah, it's the end of the days. Is that Omen? true? Yeah, there yeah. are a lot of a lot of uh, uh, Scary, man. Uh, holy fuck. Yeah, dude. There are a lot of end of the like, world omens. Do you know what that our core is reversed? Pestilence. In? Yeah, yeah. Zio, my buddy, was telling me about yeah. this the other day. I did a deep dive into that. And wait, continue. The yeah. core. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Mark. Well, no, you probably know more than me, bro. I, I just heard that. Like the core is literally reversed. <laughs> Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. You just cut out again. What are you saying? The core of the earth is... It just it, it just rotated, right? It's rotating one way, and it's starting to go... It stopped, and then it's turning the other way now. No, it already did it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, well, it I did think that. it's still slowing down. <laughs> no, they said it fucking... They, it they said went. it already just... It, it just completely flipped already. Well, and it could have... You know, there's there's effects... <laughs> Although, I don't know how they on know. The, uh, magnetosphere. Uh, yeah, that's they're probably taking measurements. And... Bro, our poles are going to flip soon. So, uh, Salt Bay, that's... <laughs> Who the fuck it was Salt Bay? What, the salt meme? Bay? Salt Bay is the meme, yes. And yeah, uh, during... Uh, I think it was... Uh, what was it, Steve? I think it was either Steve or Mario. It was like four hours in. And I was like, I was starting to fall asleep at the end of the episode. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> dude going f uh, that mario episode at the four and a half hour mark like i was and it was late I, dude i was like uh and like <laughs> i i wake like mark can testify i wake i wake up at four in the morning every day for work yeah like i you know what i mean i, I, I well, by the time we hit four hours or like two hours like sitting in this chair i'm like oh my i i, I can't it, it starts to get painful like painfully exhausting uh so yeah i it, that one happened recently and i was like well i guess we're not doing that again <laughs> uh, uh that that's not a great look <laughs> yeah but, dude i I've, i i'm guilty dude i was streaming battlefront one night and i straight passed out in my chair and was like out like 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 right in this exact spot where i'm at right now and i was just and there's my friends made memes of me and fucking like Oh yeah, it was dude. It was embarrassing, dude. As hell. <laughs> jo did you ever see? Did you ever watch the? Uh, I I love Joey Diaz so much. Joey, Joey Diaz. Diaz. Jo He's Joey, hilarious. Joey Diaz was doing a, a podcast. I forget who it was with, but he just complete like he literally fell asleep for for like like ten minutes during the episode, <laughs> and it's just it it made me laugh. Probably. <laughs> for like 12 it. hours because i could because i can relate i'm like dude i get it like you know joey, you, joey you, diaz falls asleep then it's okay that i feel you, you smoke a number and then uh you go into it with high energy and you just don't make it like it happens yeah. in the movies that's why dude like I, <laughs> i've been really beat lately like i really like i i try to stay away from caffeine past couple days dude i've just been like oh <laughs> just <laughs> just come here <laughs> yeah um so wait did you hold up power raid no it's uh mountain mountain dew, mountain dew voltage oh uh, voltage i am not voltage. sponsored by mountain dew <laughs> but it, but pepsi if you would Tastes like good. to hey. yeah right or or coca-cola i'm not a big cola fan what not the biggest yeah really Pe not i don't even fuck with soda so i got no opinion fair enough i know a lot oh, of people wow. don't like soda he could because he's a gym bro Ah, no. uh, uh, GTA. Not, not at all. Laundry baby, let's go. <laughs> not at all. So it is just. Uh. Oh, that's funny as fuck, dude. You know what this makes me think of? Like, aside from UFOs, <laughs> like at some point in the future, if we ever fi find the time to do it, I think it would be really funny if we did a podcast where we just turn the cameras on and just start fucking talking. Yeah. And it does it, with no subjects, and you title the video afterwards, like type shit. You know what I mean? Like Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan. You know what I mean, where it's just you just go. Oh yeah, I, I feel I, like I, I feel like that. that would, I feel like that, that would be a lot of fun. That was where honestly, good opportunity to like get some laughter out. You know, like because this is a, we take the UFO topic very seriously, but I feel like a lot of people would enjoy a, a, a comedic aspect to this show and. You know, a show like that too, because laughter is like it's good medicine for the soul, man. It's really well, good. I got, uh, it feels good to laugh. 
I got the comment about uh, being too silly. Too so silly. Yeah, but you know what, man? Are you being yourself though? You no, know, it, but you it was an episode that it was an episode where Holly came in and she was just you know being Holly. So <laughs> uh, it became a super silly episode, and I was like, "That's our." And I don't like when people. I don't like when people judge the show off of one episode, like one episode. It's gonna it's like, happen. Oh, then. Come on, man. Yeah. I yeah. had to learn pretty quickly that that's you just got to deal with it. If you're just being yourself, just be yourself. Yeah, but uh, I'm probably gonna wrap up probably in a couple minutes. Uh, so in closing, nope. um, what I mean, do you expect to see this four four second footage ever of uh, of this? <sighs> One it'd be one. it'd be a really interesting. I think if I think it would show a true transparency between the government and the people. If the government came out and said, "You know what? Let's show these motherfuckers this thing." Like, maybe let's do we it. Won't need it. Like, let's do it, right? Like, like they get maybe now's the time where they're like, maybe, you know, but what? maybe maybe there's other things coming where it really won't matter. That's my I suspicion. So. I feel I lean in the direction of we probably won't see it. But it won't matter because, again, I go back to the same thing. The testimony mm-hmm. that's happening with private congressional committees, with witnesses that are tied to legacy programs. That's the biggest thing everybody needs to, to keep their eyes on, in my yeah. opinion. I agree. I agree. Cause I, as soon as Gary Nolan hinted at some form of, uh, uh, you know, down the line, uh, a, a big reveal uh, yeah. in, in terms of and in uh, reference to the reverse engineering programs, that's when I that's when my head perked up a little bit. I know I, I like, want him on the show so bad, dude. He's he would be like the <laughs> yeah. perfect guy to talk to. I've spoken to him on Twitter several times. He's seen the artwork that I made of him and Lou and everybody. Uh, I think I'm gonna reach out to him and because, but that's one where it's like we're really gonna have you know that's we got to put our professional hats on for that one. He's you know he's a, a, a genius. Like yeah. literally a genius, yeah. and he has a lot of knowledge to provide, and he would deserve our undivided attention. Honestly. I was gonna go. I was gonna go to. Uh, so uh, a kid that rents a room. Well, not a kid. He's not a kid. The guy who rents a room at my house is uh, a professor at Harvard. And, wow! No kidding. Yeah, and I keep asking him. I know he's like he he's from Finland too, so he's got that like Finland. Like, not only does he look exactly like you would think a Finnish person looks, <laughs> but he sounds the like that. The, just, it's absolutely amazing. I love it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I it's, love it. Just uh, picture, I guarantee anyone listening or watching, picture the first Finnish person you can think of, and that's him. <laughs> I swear to God. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'll get, so maybe funny. I'll take a picture of him and see if he'll let so me show. He's probably very friendly, right? Yeah, he's so friendly. He's like oh so, but but he's like so friendly, right? He's like, overly friendly. Love it, love it, love the overly friendly. And did you show. know in <laughs> Finland, every single adult, unless handicap or you know some other exception, has to serve in the military. So he yes, got a degree. I did know that. He, yeah, he has a. Not only is he a professor at Harvard, but he has a degree. Uh, not a degree. I'm sorry. Uh, he has uh, military certification to blow fucking bombs, mm-hmm. like to blow yeah. up bombs. He can do that. Plus, wow. he's <laughs> he teaches at Harvard. Dude, like what? Come uh, on, man. Do you realize what kind of what kind of brain he has to have inside of his skull to be a teacher at Harvard? That is prestigious. Like, I could be the uh, dude. I could literally be a hundred times smarter than I am now, and I'm happy with my current brain. I don't even know if I would want to teach at Harvard because it's just oh it's god, so prestigious. All that Ivy League stuff, like I don't know, it turns me off. I wouldn't even want to be a part of that type of culture. Oh, it's pers- it's personally, so, it's so prestigious. I'd yeah. rather I'd rather do like what what uh what some of these other guys do, like Stanford University. I feel like I'd probably be more comfortable. Even even when cutting like, edge, like, <laughs> even when you walk, <laughs> even when you walk through Harvard, the area. Like, cause I, 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 I walk through it all the time. Like, you know, you take right. the, the, cause I take the subway, uh, sometimes and Harvard square is one stop away from me. And it's very nice. No, I'm not even saying that it is nice, but yeah. I mean, it's, it's historic, but right. I feel stupid <laughs> when, <laughs> I walk, when I'm walking through that area. 
really you watch well. as your brain cells are fucking flying out of your yeah. ears. Like I, I feel I have a. I have a, a college degree, and I feel stupid when I walk through Har- uh, that oh, area because, like, right. everyone you see is wearing a Harvard jacket, and you know that they either got money or, or a scholarship. There's right? always somebody out there that's going to be smarter than the next guy and yourself. But you know what that says? I look uh, at it as a testament to just how brilliant some people are, and I find that fascinating. Yeah. The Einsteins of the world and the Oppenheimers, you know. Yeah, I find it really. Uh, it's really interesting. Who do you think? Who do you think the next? Well, I guess I guess it would be impossible to say, but I wonder when the next like Einstein or Tesla will will emerge. That's a uh, really interesting well, point. There's a lot of brilliant people it's on the must. planet, right? Gary Nolan is one of them, in my opinion. Yeah, but they're not. I mean, I mean, you, the Einstein types, like these people. There's like, like an radical aura change about them. brought. Yeah, you know, there's like so, a like. You feel like you're in the 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 midst of, of well, something or those, someone special. Like down first though, like Einstein was a rock star. Like he was probably the only scientist that was ever like cool. Like, we use him as an like, hold on, this. We hold use on, him as an expression. Hold on, when he Mark, dude, when they brought him over from Germany, people were at the airport like he was a fucking rock star. So the guy was literally a fucking. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He he was like that, but he had an but, but he didn't get. I mean, yeah, he was a scientist, but he Brilliant in guy. one year. People forget, in one year, he put those three papers out. Yes. So in one year, he changed thinking All and science. fundamental science as we know it, and then went on to have an uh, an illustrious career. And he right? dropped out <laughs> of math. He. he he flunked math in high school. Right. And again, I'm not saying he was stupid at that time. I, I think it was more political than anything. You know, weird things going on. In or the he classroom. wasn't challenged enough. That's that could be it too. Teachers to back in the day. All right. So I'll tell you a little something funny. My dad got moved up a grade. I think he got moved up from first to second grade. The teacher in first grade basically punished my dad because the what? teacher would write out a problem. They would get it wrong, and my dad would raise his hand and be like, you know, ma'am, sir, I believe the answer, I came to a different answer, is mine right? You know what I mean? And and they were like, yeah, yeah Mr. Thompson, blah, 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 blah. He's a little kid. Right. He, my, right. Dad got, my dad got moved up. My dad's the smartest guy I've ever met, yeah. in my opinion. I like my uh, uh, He'll see this one day. I think he's the smartest guy I've ever met. Yeah, that's awesome. My Dude. dad is a brilliant guy. Um, uh, I'm left. I'm left-handed, and... That's cool. Uh, <laughs> No. <laughs> I think it's cool, man. It's like it's it's not like super no. common. But uh, they used to uh, nuns in in like uh yeah, uh, wh- whatever they call it uh, school, whatever school uh, seminary. Like, yeah, they used to to uh, take a ruler and like hit you in the hand with it yeah. if you were left-handed, so that you would they would like retrain you to to learn to write with your right hand because mm-hmm. left hand, I don't. I don't understand it's what the con- fucking it was problem considered. Is. It was considered Devils. like satanic ish. How? I don't know. Do stupid. Because Jesus is seated at the right, right hand of the Father. I think that's part of it. Fucking the devil. My mom went to so Catholic not only school. not only did they mutilate our penises in the name of religion, <laughs> but they okay also. Yeah, that. She looks better, honestly. <laughs> not, not, no, that's what no. I'm saying. <laughs> hey. There's there's a reason that one stuck around. <laughs> it, it With or is, without hat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is, are we going out in the rain today? Yo, that's <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> my 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 brother. I, I won't tell uh, you which one. My uh, brother is not circumcised because he was premature. Oh no! Sure. And he's the most open person about it. Like he'll he'll just be like like he's so funny he's oh my god he's so funny about I can it. only imagine just walks into a room hi I'm so and so and by the way there's a little <laughs> extra <laughs> yeah no, like, no, no, he'll just, yeah like well no because like someone will make a joke right they'll be like uh you have a tiny penis he's like no nah, I just got foreskin like uh, just stupid <laughs> shit he'll for no reason he'll remind you that he has foreskin and it's just like. Dude, come on. What the it's so fuck? Random. It's so random. Like we, were, we were talking about dunk, what you wanted at Dunkin' Donuts. Why you? Why did you bring up foreskin? You know what it is? 
when you feel awkward potentially internally, subconsciously, even about something regarding yourself, yeah. that it's good to make fun of it. Like I'm short, dude. I don't know if you guys realize it. I'm like yeah, five five, bro. I'm, I'm like short. five four, five five. I'm fucking short. I'm almost a foot and- taller than you. <laughs> right. Like that's bullshit, right? So, so, <laughs> so like you know, I I like to crack jokes on myself to get over that. And uh, you know, I was out not that long ago with my boss, and it started raining. And I looked at my boss, and I was like, you know what's good about being short? He's like, what? I was like, I'm the last one to know when it rains. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. I might, have just to, like, I might have to use that. It's like, oh shit! I don't know, man. Being short never uh, it never really stopped me from doing anything really except for you know fucking reaching the top shelf other than that it never really like interfered with any real aspect of my life yeah at all. I, I, I used to be I like dated, kinda... i dated i dated girls that were much taller than me yeah except like my, my, the... my next girlfriend was like five nine dude seriously and it looks weird to some people but we didn't give a shit i was like well we like each other so yeah. <laughs> you know like whatever <laughs> like... all right boys um where can uh, people keep up the conversation? Uh, I shouldn't even say boys because they can't keep a conversation with Dusty because he refuses to uh, uh, <laughs> sign up for social media. So that's Tom, funny, man. He where he can wants. they find you? Okay. They can. So well, obviously we can find Dusty. Right oh wait, there. wait, 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 wait. Zia, what the fuck do you mean that Kanye? Because you, you're 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 tra- you're really pushing uh, a, a, oh, a little pop tart vibe here. Uh, he's a. Uh... Zio is being Zio, I assure you. Zio Kanye being... West is the most genius person jokes. on the planet now. He's cracking jokes. Uh, he's an artistic if... genius. Yeah, he's being sarcastic. <laughs> okay, because uh, Kanye West is a. I think he's autistic. Uh, if anything, he's not artistic. <laughs> he's, he's not a fool. Uh, he's uh, he's made some. He, he's made some bad decisions. Yeah, he. Uh, I I don't even like to talk about that guy. Honestly. Yeah, I gotta be honest with you. I didn't like him before. Now I really don't like him. Yeah, I never understood the draw to his music either. I mean, there are a couple oh, songs. Yeah, yeah, bro, he's made. Some... No, there's a couple songs that I like. He's made some right? good tracks, at, at, but like, older, the older shit was like I was like, this yeah. guy knows, you know, he the knows his way stuff. around the studio though. As a guy who went to audio engineering school, who got the degree, that's what I did in college. Kanye is very good in the studio, and it's a shame. Because I just I think, feel like he's I think his celebrity. Yeah, probably. I, I think his celebrity just ran through his head. And I and this hit losing uh, Kim and all that. You know, you lose a woman that you love. Blah blah just, blah. I think just being in a relationship with uh, someone in that family drove him crazy. Awesome. That might be part of it too. <laughs> think about that. Anyone who's ever uh, the only one. Uh, there was one guy who got out unscathed. Huh. There's a lot of basketball players that they did. Yeah, and, a lot like, of basketball players. Teams would start players. losing. Their stats would go down. Like, yes, <laughs> for some reason. Fucking... For some reason, the men in that family uh, don't Chris, have a Chris great... Humphreys. Was that Chris Humphreys? Yeah, Chris like, Humphreys was, was the one. That fucking sucked into that shit, too. Dude. Yeah, and Lil Pop Tart's big plan was to fucking get Kanye West to, to practice CE5 and... Uh, be president of the United States. I was like, dude, I'm not gonna let you talk. I can't let you talk about that. Yeah. Like, the guy, the guy literally makes anti-Semitic comments. Yeah. Like, I, I Hardcore. can't. You know, we like, I can't do it, dude. Topic, honestly, that shit's too fucking. Yeah. Yeah. I but, watched uh, his where whole interview. Where can they find you? Where can they find you? Well, who me or Dusty? They can't find Dusty. He's impossible. But he's here. Find. I found him. Right yeah, he's <laughs> well, impossible to find on social media. Where can I they put get, it? Where... I put it in the chat earlier too. There's a link there, but I'll repost it. You can find me on Twitter at Atomic Thomas, but the O's are zeros. I wish I could go back and change that to Cortex Zero, but it won't let me. And obviously, I am Cortex Zero on YouTube. Um, let's see. Let's throw some. Uh, Podcast Zero is coming back soon, and it's it's going to be available on YouTube and Spotify. Ty, you 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 both will make appearances. You'll both probably be there fairly often, I would imagine, because I'm gonna, you know, because yeah. I'm reciprocating, obviously. Yeah. And um, yeah. I own a small digital design company called Zero Digital Designs at zerodigitaldesigns.com, and I look forward to seeing you guys over on my channel, the podcast, and on Twitter as well. And Hi, as always, it's been an honor and a pleasure, my friend. You know it. We are winning. 
I don't know. It doesn't stand out. I don't like it. <laughs> it was good for that episode. I, I think. think it was good for that one episode. Yeah. You got to do, do the you got to do the Nixon hands. I am not yeah. a crook. Yeah, it didn't work this time because it didn't come off as good. But I'm you I'm like the Charlie Sheen thing, like winning. <laughs> Oh we'll come up, with come up with something. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. If you want to support the channel further, become a member of the fucking show by clicking join below this video. It all goes back into production. Helps us keep doing fun shit like making short films, uh, cool videos, and you know, investing into uh, better equipment, studio, uh, et cetera, so on and so forth. Uh, and also, we are available on Spotify and all podcast platforms, but Spotify, we have video, so it's a pretty cool uh, platform. You can transition from listening to watching to listening to listening to watching any combination you'd like. Um, I find, honestly, dude, that I, I think that's the next big thing is Spotify. Um, so uh, we, we're definitely on the trend. We'll see you next time. I love you. Love you guys.